All right, so this is my aquaponics system. It is the first one I've ever done. Um, it was fun, it was a challenge. Um, mostly <laughs> cutting the barrel in half, uh, getting the barrel to set right in the frame, uh, and uh, getting it all plumbed correctly and getting the pump working correctly. Um, say the most challenging part has been balancing the outflow with the outflow or the inflow on the uh, fall valve with the outflow from the bell siphon. Um, something that you kind of just have to play with depending on the size of your tank, the, uh, the gallons per minute or hour of your pump, um, how many head. Um, the head is uh, the distance that the water has to travel up to its uh, outflow point um, and uh, the size of your grow bed. Um, I've been playing with it for about a week now, just balancing it out. Um, I finally filled the bed up today with uh, the lava rock, the medium, um, and everything seems to be working perfectly. It's cycled about 20 times, 20, 30 times since I finished it this morning, and um, everything's looking good. Uh, okay, <clears throat> so basically what I did is I took a 55-gallon drum, uh, and I cut it in half lengthwise. The approximate dimensions of the drum were 37 high and 23 uh, wide as far as the uh, uh, the diameter of the barrel. Um, so each section is approximately 37 long by 11 and a half deep. Um, very important when you, if you use this type of barrel, um, when you cut it in half, you make sure that you do not cut through the bung. Okay, don't cut through that. Uh, if you do cut through that, you just ruin the barrel. Make sure you have at least one bung um, if there are two on the bottom of each side of the barrel. Um, you can use this as a secondary drain if, if, uh, if you need to. Um, let's see, what else? Um, the frame itself is uh, approximately 26 left to right, um, the way we're looking at it now. 37 um, front to back and 40 high. Um, it's basically just two by fours. Once I finish uh, transplanting and making sure that everything is working correctly, I will uh, uh, cover the outside with uh, either cedar or redwood or something so it looks nice and so my wife doesn't yell at me for putting another crappy thing in the backyard. Um, the pump, basically it's a, uh, <clears throat> it's a Lang 3400, 120th of a horse RPM uh, fluid pump. Um, I got it from work. A lot of people might not have access to something like this for free. Um, you can buy one. They, depending on the style you get, these go for anywhere from $120 to $180. Um, you can start off with something as simple as a $30 uh, submersible aquarium pump from Walmart. Um, it's up to you entirely within your budget. Um, I use all three quarter inch PVC. Some places I've reduced it to restrict the flow. Um, or I have, uh, this used to be a carbon bed filter, but I've since changed it out for just a uh, straight cloth and medium filter. All it needs to do is just filter out some of the, the solids before they enter the actual uh, impeller housing for the pump. Um, as you can see, the water is kind of dirty because I uh, put the new lava rock in this morning. This will filter out in probably about six or seven more hours. It'll be almost crystal clear um, by the time I get up tomorrow morning. But as you can see, the water here is crystal clear. So it's being filtered. It just has to turn it several times. Um, I would say the most challenging part of this was um, not just cutting the barrel in half and figuring out how to do that correctly, but if the barrel has been used uh, and reused and used and reused, it's not going to be a perfect cylinder. It's going to be kind of cocked a little bit. So you have to take that into account when you go to put it into your frame. Um, once you put water and, and rock and medium in it, everything will sort of level out. So don't be, don't be freaked out if uh, when you get it all framed out and squared up and then you set it on the ground and it's empty and one of the legs is not touching the ground. That'll all balance out. I had the same problem. Um, the second most challenging part was balancing the inflow from the pump with the outflow of the bell siphon.
um, because I'm using such a, I guess, a high-powered pump, um, it's restricted a good amount right now. It's probably cut down to a third of its uh, max output. Um, but because I'm using such a high output pump, I had to put a ball valve in here to restrict the inflow because my outflow is only a half inch. So the tank would fill up and stay full at max inflow and it wouldn't drain fast enough. <clears throat> so that's something that I've been playing with for about a week off and on. Um, it's been a challenge, but it's also been fun at the same time. Um, my outflow is simply a bulkhead fitting with a half inch OD, or ID, I should say, um, to a half inch T, um, another half inch, a 12 inch half inch nipple uh, that I cut in half, and then you can't see it right now, and I'm not gonna hang my camera over the water, but underneath, the, on the underside of the pipe, there are holes drilled, six per side, uh, and once the water starts draining out, it pours into the tank and aerates the water. And it, it cycles about, I'd say, three, nah, I'd say four to five times an hour, maybe even six. Um, I haven't really clocked it this morning since I uh, put the rock in, um, but it does it several times an hour, which is great because you want to turn your tank at least three times an hour so that any ammonia that you have is being moved through your filter medium into your lava rock where your uh, your bacteria growth is going to break it down into uh, uh, nitrates or um, nitrogen fish or plant food. Uh, like I said, this is my first one. This is the first video I've made of it. Um, it looks kind of rough right now, but uh, like I said, I promised my wife that I would frame it out, that I would uh, trim it with uh, something nice and stain it so it looked nice. Uh, I transplanted the eggplant yesterday, as well as the okra. Um, they seem to be doing fine still. I just transplanted this strawberry this morning, and this melon this morning as well. There are several fish in there right now. There's probably uh, 13 or 14 fish, uh, some small goldfish, and then some other ones, uh, some edible kind. I'm not going to tell you which, though. Uh, let's see. Everything seems to be working good. The bell siphon is a... Uh, it's essentially a two inch uh, piece of ABS with a cap on it. Um, I have a uh, one inch piece of um, PVC reduced down to a half inch. The one inch PVC is approximately nine inches. The bell siphon is approximately nine inches as well. Um, you want to have your the overall length of your uh, PVC bell or your ABS bell, whatever you make it out of, about the same as the length of your um, inner nipple, the nipple that the water actually is going to flow out through. Uh, the reason being is you're going to have about a half to three quarters of an inch difference from the top of your three quarter inch pipe to the actual crown of your cap because it's it's a dome essentially. Uh, that will allow your uh, your siphon to build up enough suction so it works properly. Um, I put in about, I filled it up to about you know, nine or ten inches or so of uh, rock. That way the, uh, the water line stays just below the uh, top surface of the rock because you don't actually want the stem of the plants to be submerged in water because that's going to cause them to rot. That's why you don't water uh, a regular soil garden every single day unless it's like 180,000 degrees. Um, you want the, the root zone to be wet, but you want it to be continuously cycling uh, with fresh water. As you can see, it's draining now and it's good. Plenty of aeration. Uh, the fish seem to be happy. The only fish that I've lost were uh, in the first two or three days which, you know, you buy goldfish and you put them in your tank at home and you, you buy 30 of them because you know you're going to lose 15 in the first day. It's what it is. Um, but other than that, they seem to be happy. Um, I even caught a frog at work and threw it in here, but I don't know what happened to him. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's been uh, fun. It's been simple. Hopefully it's everything... Uh